Hello and welcome. We start with a new stage of resistance to the military coup in Myanmar. Security forces backed by armoured vehicles have clashed with a newly formed local militia group in Mandalay. The military government said soldiers were met with small arms fire and grenades when they raided a house. It said troops killed four people and arrested eight others. This militia is known as the People's Defence Force, which opposes military rule. They said its members responded after the army raided one of its bases. We are verifying pictures and what is happening in Mandalay at the moment and looking into this for us is our Asia editor Rebecca Henschke who is with me now. Firstly what are we hearing from Mandalay? What's been happening? So what's been happening is early this morning around 7 a.m local time there was a raid on a building next to a boarding school in Mandalay. It was a raid involving around 20 soldiers, armoured vehicles. Now the military is saying that they were raiding a building where they believed weapons were being held. Um, now this group calling themselves the Mandalay People's Defence Force say that was one of their headquarters that the military raided. Now we've seen these groups spring up across the country in response to the brutal suppression of the pro-democracy movement against the coup. We've seen those protesters take to the streets, then there was violence and now in response what we're seeing more and more is civilians take up arms and to fight back against the military. So we should just tell our viewers Rebecca we have now been able to verify these pictures that we are seeing from Mandalay. We've got a team who've been working hard doing that and verifying some of the information that we've had from Myanmar's second city. But tell us more about this newly formed militia group. I mean, who are its members? Well, it's a very, uh, it's not a centralised group at all. This is not one centralised people's defence force. It's different groups across the country. They are loosely linked to ethnic groups who have been fighting the Myanmar military for decades, such as the Kareni groups up near the Thai border. Also the Kachin, the KIA have also been training uh, different civilian groups, sometimes just young protesters who took to the streets and now feel their only choice to fight back is to pick up weapons. So they're teaming up with more experienced uh, militia who have those weapons. But is this the first time we've seen this group active in a big city? Because it is. Because we've had these sort of reports of sporadic things happening more rurally, but this is quite significant that we're seeing it in Mandalay, which is the country's second biggest city. That's right. What we have been seeing over recent weeks is attacks in small villages, particularly close to these ethnic areas where there's already been fighting. But this is the first time it's really come to the big cities. And Mandalay really was the start of the uprising against the military, so huge protests against them. And now again we're seeing this next stage of the fighting starting in Mandalay, a guerrilla group using arms against the military. And we're hearing that there is still repeated gunfire in the city, there is still troop build up in the city. And what we've seen in the past is after these skirmishes, the Myanmar military responds, retaliates with huge violence. Rebecca. Thanks so much for updating us on what is happening there in Mandalay.